So when we talk of bisecting, we are simply talking of uh, dividing into two. So here, we want to bisect a line. We want to bisect a given line, which is 70 millimeters, right? So meaning we want to find the midpoint of that line. Now let's just draw a line that is equal to 70 millimeters. So we draw line AB. So the principle for bisecting a given line, any given line for that matter, is you get your compass, open it to any convenient radius of your choice that is more than half of the given line. Okay. How do you know that it's more than half? You don't even have to measure. You just open. Obviously, half is located somewhere here, right? Yes, that's the midpoint. So as long as it's more than half. So this is more than half. Even this is more than half. Even that is more than half, right? But you need to pick um, a radius that is convenient for you so that it will be easier for you to draw or to construct the axle. So if this is more than half, and then you place it at one end point of the line, for example, point A here, right? Point A, you strike an arc like that, and another one like that, okay? So maintaining the same radius, because this radius that you had, you had picked is just any radius, right? And you have to maintain the same radius, and then you go to the other point here. The other end point, you strike an arc, you strike another arc, like that. So where the arcs are meeting, those are the points that you want to join. With a straight line. Okay. So we're saying, this line that we have drawn now is called a perpendicular bisector. Okay? So it's a line that is dividing uh, a given line into two equal parts, which is our line AB. And then it is cutting line AB at a certain point there, meeting it at an angle of 90 degrees. Okay? Hence, uh, the name perpendicular bisector, because the other name for 90 degrees is a perpendicular angle. How do you know that it's the midpoint? You can, you get your compass, you place it at the point where the lines are meeting, okay? So you place it, you place it at the point where the lines are meeting like that. And then when you turn it this other side, it should land you at the other point there. 